Hello, travelers. We we're, we're, we're here. We're chilling. We're dancing. We're grooving. I want to talk about the Incredible Hulk. But Myra doesn't. It's okay. We'll talk about Black Widow later. Or Black Panther. I think she would like because she's a cat. But we're going to talk about the Incredible Hulk. Yeah. MCU's Hulk problems are way bigger than just movie rights. Let me tell you. The MCU has only ever given the Hulk a single solo film. And while movie rights are certainly a reason for this, there are much bigger problems with placing the character center stage. That's because he's too tall. He's too big. Bruce Banner the Hulk. The Incredible Hulk. Yeah, he's a superhero appearing in publications by Marvel Comics. Have you heard of this guy, guys? He's in Marvel. Yeah. He created... Stan Lee made him. He, like, drew him one night on a fucking napkin or something. Here, let me see. Wait a second, we'll go. Let me get you a picture of Stan. I don't want to lose my Hulk. There he is. Yeah, there's a... Mark... Mark Ruffalo. He's above me right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait, no, he's over there, right? Yeah, he's up here now. Look, I can mess with his hair. Like, Mark. I can pick bugs off him, like... Monkey him. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, let's see. Oh, God, he's, you're scaring me, Bruce. Yeah, I want to see Stan Lee. This guy. Yeah, this guy. This You know this guy. He shows up in a movie, and he's always, like, making a corn dog or something. And he made the Incredible Hulk. He did it. On a fucking napkin or something. Yeah. Artist Jack Kirby. The character first appeared in the debut issue of The Incredible Hulk in 1962. Holy shit. That's a long time ago. Somebody get a fucking calculator. How long is that? If you were born that year, you, you know your age. How old are you? Damn, that's, a, that's crazy. 1962. In his comic book appearance is the character who was... I... Identity disorder? Dissociative identity disorder he had. DID. Is primar primarily represented by an alter ego Hulk. A green skinned, hulking, and muscular humanoid possessing a limitless degree of physical strength and the alter ego, Dr. Robert Bruce Banner. That's some Jekyll and Hyde shit. Like Beast from X Men. There's just always a guy on the team that, like, turns into shit. But Beast can't come back. A physical weak. Socially withdrawn and emotional reserve physicist. Both of whom typically resent each other. Okay. What the hell does that mean? Following his accidental exposure to gamma rays, which is what we're going through right now with these fucking solar flares, while saving the life of Rick Jones during the det detonation of an experimental bomb. Banner's physically transformed into the Hulk. When subjected to emotional stress or at or against his will. So basically, if I was the Incredible Hulk, I would have to reset a lot. Or I would destroy things. He He's crazy. Well, look at this one. Did the Hulk have a dad? Cause now they have I know, um wait a second. I know he has a sister. Yeah. They just made this. Look, Mark Ruffalo's involved. He's in this, I think. I didn't watch it yet. It looks cool. Oh, shit. They're going into season two already? It's, yeah, I was like... She goes to court or something. She's an attorney. Look how cool this looks. I like the fonts. I just... I want the t-shirts and stuff. Wow. This actually looks pretty cool. Oh, there he is. Oh, Forbidden Access. That's what that nightclub was called. Forbidden Access. I used to dance there. This dude did it? Oh my god, they got the guy from Pulp Fiction in it. This is gonna be good. Holy, he still got that fucking grin on him. This is her, look. Oh my god, this is gonna be a thing now, where like, girls are gonna, instead of tanning, 
they're gonna just paint their whole fucking bodies green and go out to clubs. And then they're gonna try to attract hulks. I think that's what this is leading to. Oh, this is a cool picture of him. Brother and sister, right? Right? How many people in the unit? This is like a situation of like, they're family, but like there's no other species of them. How are they gonna procreate? I guess they're human. They're not like, I'm just thinking of Bigfoot. You know, like if there's a male and female Bigfoot, like. This is weird. Is this his dad? Did the Incredible Hulk have a dad? He had to, right? He was just a mortal, like a normal dude. Robert Bob Parr. Really? Robert Bob Parr, also known as Mr. Incredible, is the husband of... Wait a second. Oh, whoops. That's THE Incredibles. <laughs> I just said, did the Incredible have a dad? You gotta say the word Hulk. This music's trippy. Turn it down a little. It's just that song is like really trippy and blasting. It's, it's cool. Blast my ears off. His dad is Brian Banner. What? His father is named Brian. That's funny because my neighbor's named Brian and he has a beard just like that. Wait, let me see. Hang on. Well, maybe my neighbor that grows tomatoes was a hawk. And that's why he has anger issues. Huh. i never seen him green. Well, I'm not trying to poke the bear, you know. Look, this is... Where is he? Oh, here's like a picture of him. Oh my god, that's his dad, Brian Banner. The Incredible Hulk's dad. Wow. Amadeus and Rick have obviously been Hulks in the past. While Bruce is naturally the core figure in his family tree, the roots of the Hulk's anger come from his father, Brian Banner. If there's a villain in this story, it's Brian. Oh my god, Jesus.